Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. We commemorated a significant day last week on the 18th of this month. But no, Google didn't change its logo to showcase the importance of that day, nor did most of the members of the Colombo Liberal Idiot class celebrated it. But few of them push the narrative of their Western masters, like saying that the government is in denial about the Sri Lankan army's atrocities. An article pushed by another dud organization, the Human Rights Watch. Even the UN says that there was no genocide or war crimes in the final phase of the war. Oh, but not for the liberal clowns. Apparently they have evidence which we don't have, even the UN. The following day, the government uh, had its main event at the Bhattarmula War Memorial with the participation of the president. It must be noted that this is a very heartfelt ceremony and proud moment. Observe two minutes silence in honor of the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice to protect our motherland. Yes, it's tough right now economically to live in this country. It's not the ideal state, considering the recent activities of certain individuals, especially from the younger generation, you see that they do not care about the sacrifice made by these war heroes. I mean, if you are in uh, your 20s, you might have heard about the bomb explosions in Colombo, but must have been too young to comprehend what's going on. Now, the last bomb explosion besides uh, Easter Sunday attack was on May 26th of 2008 at Behivala, where a suicide bomber boarded a commuter train, killing eight people and injuring over 80. There were days of fear, crushed by a sense of worthlessness in this country. The very dread you feel right now in terms of our economy, well, that was the same sentiment back then. That fear was what our heroic forces quashed and eradicated from the face of this earth. I always wonder why the younger generation don't have the same sentiments as we have towards our brave men and women in the military. Former Air Force uh, Commander and Marshal of the Air Force Roshan Gunathilaka pointed us in the right direction. Watch. If I go back to the family again, uh, it's the duty of the elders to teach the young people. So I think somewhere this has broken down that has to continue, this has to get into the history syllabus of the schools. Yeah. Actually, they should be taught. I mean, this is as General Dayaratnayaka said, we didn't fight a community, we, we fought a terrorist that was trying to destroy the communities, that was just trying to destroy the unity of the community. Well, to discuss more on this, joining me now is the Marshal of the Air Force, Roshan Gunatilaka himself. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for speaking to me. Now. As you know, we just passed War Heroes Day commemoration. Uh, 14 years since the ruthless terrorist LTTE were defeated by people like you. Now, first, let me ask you what you are feeling right now as you look at look back at those uh, difficult days, and what can we learn from that experience to apply to what we are going through right now? Thank you, Mahesh, for asking me that question. It's very pertinent to the time. Yes, it was a long drawn out war, uh, war on terror actually. We were not fighting a community, but we were fighting terrorists who were terrorizing a community. So it was tough for us. Many people laid their lives down for this nation so that we could eradicate terrorism on the 18th of May 2009. What, when the, when this, uh, terrorist issues started, we were very reactive. Actually, we were not prepared as a nation. Our forces were not prepared as a nation to face this threat. So, but gradually as time went by, this reactive uh, effort turned into a proactive effort. And when the humanitarian operation started in 2006, it was one huge wave of success after success that happened, mainly because it was teamwork, it 
was commitment and nobody could stop us the whole country was with us in this thing so the lesson that should be learned is we must work as a team we must know the vision of our country we must in one accord work towards this vision we must have our communities totally united and working together as friends there should not be difference in community matters but after the war on terror which was successfully completed we saw for 14 years uh, after 14 years maybe recently in the recent past you saw that our country faced a huge economic problem actually the economic problem uh, did not happen immediately as a result of one or two actions but it went uh, it, it took a long time and we never realized that we were in this issue but it happened country was in economic collapse and people were in despair the essential items the prices of essential items were going up and food items were going up there was a scare of food scarcity and people did not know what to do so this was a very bad situation i mean uh, after all that commitment uh, when we see that this country came to this situation i think the military i as a military person was feeling very sad however we must all agree we must all come to terms that one man agreed to take a chance and try to save this country and improve our economy that is the present president honorable ranil vikramasinghe when he took over this country it was almost in shambles and there was lot of discord there were security issues in this country but he came forward he had faith that this could be turned around and he's a, and this and the president is a very experienced person and so far he has done much to uplift the standard of the country this is a long drawn out effort we cannot uh, simply say that things will be okay in 2 to 3 years time it's 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 a long plan and i think the president's idea is also so he is talking about 2048 that is a very good thing and what he's trying to do is get the older generation the middle aged generation and also the young generation together and do this with everybody as one team so that the technology the knowledge and the historical aspects are passed down from one generation to another in a very peaceful manner because when you pass a baton from one generation to another you cannot stop and pass the baton you must do it running so that the next man who takes the baton runs faster than you thank you for asking that question mahesh indeed uh, so you are a war hero uh, who fought uh, to protect this country's sovereignty so that uh, we as sri lankans uh, can really be the owners of this nation what do you have to say regarding the current status of sri lanka security and uh, sovereignty well uh, <clears throat> when you look at national security it is not only physical security there are so many other factors that come uh, uh, that form this national security uh, framework physical security is definitely one but if the economy collapses you may have you, you may have a national security problem because then interference can come from uh, beyond your shores if you have a health problem it can become a national security problem if you have education issues if your youth is not educated properly that can constitute that can become a national security issue so there are so many things in this national security subject it's not only physical security at this moment where we are facing financial difficulties we definitely have a national security issue because we have to depend on other nations luckily so far the other nations have not put conditions but uh, we are very vulnerable so we are having a national security issue 
until we get our finances sorted out and until we get our economy on the correct track and we must all get together and help the president irrespective of political parties political feelings irrespective of what the youth think irrespective of what the educated people think we must all join together and support the president to get us out of this and get us on a strong footing thank you absolutely uh, we have to leave it at that but let me take this opportunity to thank you for your incredible service to this nation we are always in debt to you and the whole of the military that has done so much for this nation all that was the former commander of the sri lanka air force marshal of the air force roshan gunathilaka let's take a short commercial break this is the state of the nation back in a moment